When it comes to art, we all know what we love and what we hate. When roaming an art gallery, we also know the pieces that challenges us. These are the ones we often stare at the longest. We may not necessarily like them, but they capture our attention and get us thinking. They have value. So now, come and join us in knowing more about the pop art and minimalism art. Perhaps the most well-known artistic development of the 20th century is pop art. It is the movement that emerged in which artists incorporated com commonplace objects, comics, stripes, soft scans, newspapers, and more. Into their work, the pop art movement aimed to solidify the idea that art can draw from any source. Pop art is easily recognizable due to its vibrancy and unique characteristics that are present in many of the most iconic works of the movement. Here is an artwork of Andy Warhol who uses self screen printing. Warhol's works typify many aspects of the movement, like an obsession with celebrity, the repetition of images, and the use of advertising as subject matter. Now, let's move on to minimalism art. Minimalism art is an art movement that emerged in the mid-20th century. The minimalism art elements use a minimum of lines, shapes, and many times colors. The minimalism artwork also may look and feel even sparse, restricted, or empty. And here are some of characteristics of minimalism art. Geometric forms, square and rectangle, precise and hard age, expressionless colors, truth in art, and simplicity. Minimalism challenged how art was viewed. The minimalism artists argued that the art object's importance is misplaced. Some famous artworks during minimalism era were Frank Stella's Die Fanha in 1959. Frank Stella is a painter, sculptor, and printmaker. He is considered to be one of the most influential living artists and grew to become one of the founding fathers of minimalism. Then, Agnes Martin with My Back to the World in 1997. Agnes Martin made works that were non-representational, yet their titles highlighted a strong allure to nature. Her pastel bands of blue, peach, and yellow continued to highlight how art was exclusive of the corrupt outside world. Pop art and minimalism follow abstract expressionism in the 1950s and 60s. Both styles push the language of modernism to its conclusion meaning that with them, the language of modern art has now been completely and successfully explored. Thank you for watching everyone.